I'm sorry, the players you have caught upon are currently unable to play competitive hockey. Really? The Habs come off a big win against the Leafs, and then they go out and they lay a huge egg against a team who is, you know, trying to catch up to them for the last remaining playoff position in the North. A team that played the night before. I'm going to lose my mind, guys. Honestly, the Flames have been beating the Habs all year. Like, enough is enough, man. What the hell is going on? And do you know what really chaps my ass? Inconsistency. And that, my friends, is exactly what the Habs are. They're inconsistent. I mean, knock knock, is anybody home? Cause it sure doesn't look like it anymore. Denol, Tatar, Byron, God, even the Foley stopped scoring. <sighs> you know what? I'm not even gonna get into too much detail right now about how I truly feel. Cause, you know, Maybe we'll save that for another video. So, on to the bloody game review. Okay, so the first period begins, and right away, within like the first couple of minutes, the Habs forward Josh Anderson wars a shot off the crossbar and out. And right away, you kind of get that vibe that this is how things are going to go tonight. It's not going to be good. Then, a few minutes later, Michael Backlund wins a clean draw against the Habs, and I mean squeaky deaky clean here. He gets the puck back to Noah Hannafin, who fires a bomb of a slap shot that gets past the screened Jake Allen. And now, the flames are up one to nothing. Boom! Just like that. The ice is absolutely tilted here, guys, in favor of the flames. Holy shit, it looked like the Habs had played the night before and the night before that. Not the flames. The flames looked like they were fresh. <sighs> so the flames outshoot them and outplay them. It was just embarrassing. The Habs get a power play at the end of the period, but hey, they fail to capitalize on their man advantage. Now, let's fast forward a little bit into the second period. And yeah, it didn't really take long for things to go from bad to worse. Because just a few seconds in, yet another point shot makes its way past Jake Allen, and this time it's the Flames captain Mark Giordano, who takes advantage of another self-inflicted Hab screen. God, what is it with these guys screening their own goaltender? Like, if you're going to get in the way, you better block the shot, man. The Flames continue getting lots of pressure until finally the Habs manage to score a goal themselves. Yeah, it was unbelievable to watch. As Jonathan Drouin feeds the puck over to Brett Kulak, who comes in and scores his first goal in, you know, what felt like forever. But hey, this is one that felt special, guys. I was really happy for Kulak to score a goal. I'm a huge fan of the guy. He's done some great stuff for this team since becoming a member of the Habs. And it's always nice seeing a guy like this find the back of the net. And he was the only guy that gave us something to be happy about last night. Anyway, it does give the Habs a little more momentum. As they get some pressure on the Flames now throughout the remainder of the period. Although the Flames are still out shooting them by a fairly wide margin towards the end of the period. And are still winning by a score of 2-1 to one when the period ends. And here we are on to the third period. And the Habs and the Flames, they trade a few chances right off the hop here. Roughly midway through the third period though, Michael Backlund gets a nice chance off a rush, but he's stopped by Jake Allen, who has been looking really good so far in the game, might I add, and has definitely given the Habs a chance to climb back into this one. But when you're scoring one goal a game, you know, it's kind of hard. And then, unfortunately, with about seven-ish minutes left to play in the third period, Shea Weber fails to clear the puck out of the zone, and then Josh Levo outworks him to the front of the Habs net and puts the puck past Jake Allen, giving them a 3-1 to one lead now. And Ducharme is already looking up at the scoreboard. He's like, what the hell am I going to do? God, did I really want this job? Julian? Julian? The Habs get a really nice shift after this on their fourth line, and they do get a lot of sustained pressure in the Flame zone, but the Flames defenders do a really good job at limiting their quality scoring chances because nothing happens. Then, with over three minutes left in the period, Ducharme pulls Jake Allen from the net, and the Habs have an extra attacker on the ice. With the goalie pulled, the Habs do manage to get some pressure again in the Flames' end, but 
it doesn't even look like they must drop a shot here. They're just cycling and cycling and unable to generate anything of quality. Then with the buck 10 left to go in the third period, Sean Monahan fires a shot from far away. That hits the Habs empty net. And it also, it hits me right in the heart, man. That one hurt. And there you go. It's all over but the crying, boys. The Flames win this one by a score of 4-1 to one and gain two huge points in the playoff race. <sighs> That's all I gotta say. Okay, guys. Thanks for listening to my game review. I hope you all enjoyed, even if you're a Habs fan and you just heard shitty results. Anyway, you guys all have a good day and I'll see you next time.